What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video I'm going to do a little silver unboxing, and both of these packages contain silver that was purchased at Spot, so let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so this is going to be a fun unboxing here. Um, this one is from Monument Metals. This one is from Atmex. And I bought the Black Friday deals. I actually do have another spot Black Friday deal from SD Bullion, but that hasn't arrived yet. So I figured, why wait? Let's just do the unboxing now. And also I wanna mention that I did actually make a video talking about these deals. So hopefully other people were able to take advantage of them. This is gonna be a difficult unboxing, I can already tell. Let's just break into it. Here we go. Had to take out my personal information there. And here is the package within the package. All right, so we're 50% unboxed, I suppose, with this particular one. Let's just break into it like we did. And here we go. We have two tubes of war nickels. Now, the war nickels are 35%. And I've, I've made videos on these in the past. But uh, they're pretty sweet because you can usually pick them up on the cheap. So here we go check it out silver at spot not the prettiest silver now while i get this second tube open i'll just briefly explain to you uh, what war nickels are so war nickels they were minted from 1942 they started halfway through the year and they minted them all the way until 1945 so to conserve the nickel for the war effort they made the nickels out of 35% silver, 56% copper, and 9% manganese. It's kind of a weird alloy, but they did that so the weight would be right and not throw off all the vending machines. Now, if there's any letter here above the Monticello, then it is a war nickel. So halfway through 1942, they switched. So if it's a 1942 nickel, there's a chance that it won't be made out of silver. This one's 1943, so obviously every single one that year was made out of silver. But uh, yeah, these are just really awesome for stacking because you can get them so cheap. So what you do is you throw them in the bottom of your safe, you make your safe heavier and uh, harder to steal. <laughs> War nickels will maintain their value over a long period of time. They're a little bit harder to sell. Usually you get you know a little bit under spot when you sell them but you know if silver goes up significantly that's not really a problem so anyway we got war nickels at spot i never really buy them unless they're at spot so uh, i had to jump on that deal when i saw it now let's get to this unboxing i am so incredibly excited about this one there was several silver and gold deals at atmex for black friday and this one in particular i am so happy i got it it sold out very fast and it was so hard to actually buy. I'm not even going to need that. Because their website kept crashing. It was sort of like the U.S. Mint. Uh, if you remember when the U.S. Mint has these big releases, their website sort of shuts down. It's like, you know, sorry, order didn't work or whatever. And um, it was basically the same thing on Atmex. So it was kind of frustrating, but I tried to check out like 10 times and I finally got this one. And uh, yeah, I'm really stoked on it because it sold out just within a few minutes. But anyway, it's a koala coin, and it's a one kilo coin. So this will actually be the biggest piece of silver that I own. And it's a random year, so I don't know what year it is yet. This will probably be just be easier if I use this. There we go. I always struggle with these unboxings. This is insanely packaged. Look, it's a package in the package in the package. I feel like Admex is like joking with me. This is like... You know, when you get a Christmas present and you have to open up all the layers? My goodness. But I see why they did it. They didn't want to damage it. And by the way, silver spot price was uh, $22.88 when I bought this. And now silver spot price is over $24 an ounce. So I'm already doing well on it. But here we go. Oh, another package. I'm struggling with this one. <laughs> Let's see what year I got. If I got 2014... I am going to be very upset. That is like the worst koala. All right. 
That is a thick silver coin. Here's the reveal. What year did I get? All right. It is 2013. Now, I'm pretty excited about getting 2013. That is actually a really cool koala. Uh, you know, it's up there in the branches, sort of look around. But uh, yeah, the Australian koala coins from the Perth Mint. They change designs every year. So some years they have a sweet design like this one. That is just super cool. And uh, some years they have a terrible design. So I'm pretty excited about that. And just a thick coin. It's not only the biggest coin I own, but it's also the biggest just piece of silver that I own in general. Well, those were the unboxings. I'm happy to be adding some more silver to my stack. I really haven't added as much as I wanted to in 2020. So hopefully I can buy a lot more in 2021. I actually did recently make a video talking about my silver stacking strategy for 2021. If you wanna watch that video, I'll put a link up in the corner as well as a link down below in the description. I go through basically my entire plan for the year how much silver I want to buy, how much I want to spend, all that good stuff. So I highly recommend you check it out. If you plan on buying silver in 2021, you can see what my strategy is here, what I'm buying, why I'm buying it and all that. And maybe it'll match up with your strategy. Now, the last thing I want to do in this video is uh, something I've been thinking about for a long time. And that is actually flip the one kilo silver coin. All right, so I, I didn't know if it was possible to flip one of these or not. I still don't know if it's possible, but I want to try. I think it would be hilarious if, you know, someone was like, oh, do you have a coin I can flip? And then I just pull this out like, yeah, let's let's flip for it. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to give it a go, see if I can flip it. It's going to take some, you know, superior thumb power. But if you made it this far in the video, this is like a little bonus. So uh, let's see if it's possible. Here we go. And the other thing too is if I throw it up like super high, I know I can flip it or I can just do it with two hands, but I'm just curious, do I have enough thumb power to get a full rotation? All right, that's what we're going for. So here we go. And it might crack the capsule, but uh, you know, whatever, I'm not too worried about it. Here it is. <laughs> can you flip a one kilo silver coin? Let's see. That was a total fail. Did I crack the capsule there? I just scratched the capsule. Okay, let's try it one more time. Can you flip a one kilo silver coin? Here we go. Yes, we got it. <laughs> that was hilarious. Well worth it. I just totally landed on the pile of war nickels. Well, anyway, there you go. A little bonus if you watch the whole video. You can flip a one kilo silver coin. So anyway, uh, that was the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons out.